For the second time in one week, Mamelodi Sundowns will attempt to get to the top of the EPSA Premiership as they failed in midweek against uh, Polokwane City in a 1-1 draw. Can they do the business again tonight against a table-topping Bitvest Bits? Because the victory for the Twani-based current PSL champions will take them above Bitvest Bits by one point and uh, potentially by goal difference as well. Decent little ball up here towards Pakamani McClamby who gets away from Robin Johannes. Keegan Ritchie tracking back. McClamby nearly gets the ball through Rob, uh, Tolani Klantoyo. Zwani now. Still a chance. And it's going to be whacked in the back of the net. By Mamelody Sundowns. Good build up. Not able to clear the danger. And McClamby does score against his former side. Does the creativity. Finishes the move. Sundowns lead. That's the threat they have. They pose to any opponent. Free kick here, Keegan Ritchie once again for Bitvest Fitz. Space for the head of a two power off the post. Keeper was beaten and Matupa denied his third goal in successive matches. I spoke about acting so switched on. What more do you want? The delivery, superb delivery. Hotto, Matupa, keeper's done just enough, but Hotto is still in possession. And Arantzor will clear in front of the Ugandan former goalkeeper of the year in uh, the African continent. Still the pressure coming. And a ball nearly falls for Cole Alexander. Nice pressure from the best bits. That's the threat. Losing possession, Zwani. Dispossessed by Otto. Shows his pace there. Gets there, plays a tricky ball, got the best of touches from a gift Mutupa. Again, all from Emelody Sundowns back behind the halfway line. Richie in with a chance. Now, how many more chances? They play to their strength. They know Sundowns are vulnerable when it comes to dealing with this sort of crosses. Nascimento almost gets caught by Matupa. Does get caught by Matupa. Equalizer. Yes. Mistake in defense from Emily Sundowns. And Matupa has scored three goals in successive matches in League and Cup. 18 total this season, but best fits to all level. From the fans who are excited to have seen with best bets get a goal, but disappointed will be Mamelodi Sundowns. Keegan Ritchie. Lekay's got some pace here and he's been brought down. Yeah. Okay. And the referee, Mr. Klungwani, will award the free kick on the edge of the penalty area. He hasn't gone into the pocket just yet, but uh, Wayne Arantzer could count himself like, oh, there goes the hand. Who is he booking? It's got to be Arantzer. Are you sure? No. <laughs> I think he's booking Arantzer. <laughs> I, can't, I can't imagine, I can't imagine he's, he's booking Gregory Lacay. A red card for Wayne Arantzer. Wow. You, we'll unpack it. Why? Because that's a direct goal scoring chance. Kick and Richie plays a delightful ball. He gets in front of Wayne Arantzer. And you can tell. There's no doubt about that one. Definite foul. Definite foul. Palembe is away by Rivaldo Kutsia. Still a chance. Side netting. Disappointment for Flanti. Well, he's got the the password on that uh, left hand side to attack more. Emerson Yengo has uh, gone down with he had that uh, knee problem, oh, leg problem earlier on. Seems to be moving back to the bench, which is probably a sign that Onyango yeah, wants to continue. Oh, no, it's not. He's come back to maybe strip off. So it looks like a other hamstring or behind the knee of Dennis Onyango. The 33-year-old is about to make way here. There's the signal from the medical staff. McClumby for Sundowns, Motupa for Pitvest Bets. No break in the deadlock. It ends 1-1 in Johannesburg. I think we deserve to win the game. 
my honest opinion. We did all the pushing, but obviously, you know, just didn't have the quality in the final third. Uh, the final touch, final pass. We had enough chances to win, and so very disappointed. Didn't win the game, you know. And obviously, then they they experienced, you know, they got to know how of delaying the game, and they did well, you know. So you got to give them credit for that. But I mean, we got to be better in the final third. But it's been Achilles' heel for us all season. Yeah, we created overloads in, in, in areas very difficult. They sat, you know, very compact in the middle, so we couldn't go through the middle. We had to go overloads on the side, and you know, between both our fullbacks, certainly. I must have had 20 or 30 crosses each, so I don't think one needs a good area, and um, you know, there, there's your problem. And then, because when a team sits in there, it doesn't, you know, it obviously didn't come to get a result. Um, it's very, very difficult, but, and, and we had to break them down, we didn't break them down. It's pretty much the bottom line. Uh, yeah, big game, difficult game for us. Um, I think the boys are tactically superior. We, we know the strength of Vets. If we if we deal with the crosses and we try and limit the crosses from the sides and we can deal with the free kicks, then we left, we left the two centre backs with the ball. So, and we managed. I, the players showed that they're Champions League team, five years in Champions League, tactically superior. KK Sugar, Ricardo corrected the mistakes. Unfortunately, at sundowns, we were always shooting ourselves in the foot. I think you saw, you know what happened in Pulukwani, so you know what happened tonight. But those are the important players, and look at him, Ricardo, second half. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's a big game. We got the point. As long as we didn't lose, it's okay. We wanted to win. We came here to win. That's why we, drew, we were the first one to draw blood. We didn't have that, those numbers in the box as, we, as the first half, as we wanted earlier. But... Uh, um, I just want to know, probably on the red card, whether Ricardo was very close to help uh, Wayne. If he's not close enough to help Wayne, then it, it, it's, it's a red card. We have to see that. But Lake dived in the first half. We all saw it. He didn't give him a yellow card. And then Parker dives, he gave him a yellow card. Where's the consistency? You know, and I like it because when there was... Uh, 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 diving, there was another diving there. He gave, gift. he gave gift Mutupa a yellow card. But what was the first one? No, you have to give also the other one, you know. But his experience, the referee dealt well with it. Um, uh, Zakela on the line, no issues. We dealt well with it, uh, of course. Uh, Vets were dominant, of course, because of the numbers. But uh, we are okay, we can take a point. I'm not sure because I'm I, I, that's why I'm saying I'm not sure whether Ricardo was close. You know when he goes to goal, because he was going to goal, and it's clear that there's nobody else who's going to disturb him, then of course it's a red card. But if Ricardo is closer and he's on the edge, probably not. But I don't know. Unless I see it, then it is. But let, let, let me bring it for yeah. you, Coach, so that we, we basically just chat over it while we're watching. Yeah, Ricardo's closer. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask them to take it back for you. Um, and again, obviously, from a, an analytical perspective, all right, the ball being pumped in, and I think we'll slow it down as the ball makes contact on the ground. What are you seeing here, coach? No, there's no dispute of whether it's a foul or not. Yeah. There's no dispute, okay? There's no dispute, but yeah, you can say whether Ricardo is closer or not. It's not for me to say how close. I mean, there's no law of saying 10 meters or 15 sure. meters, how close he is. The referee makes his dis discretion. And if, if he thinks he's right, I don't have a dispute on that. My question is, if you give a yellow card, to Pakamani, why you didn't give it to Lake? Then we could have been 10 against 10, and 10 against 10, we could play here, you could see. So, but we, 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 we just, we manage the game, tactical superiority, awareness, and they can have the ball. The situation now on the lock is the situation, this is the same situation before this game played. So we are okay. Without, without Ricardo giving the ball, uh, okay, they had few chances. Let's be honest. Let's give them credit. They had few chances in the first half. They missed a lot also. But uh, in South Africa, miss. You know, South Africa, we miss. We can miss in South Africa. That's normal. It happens to Sundowns against Polokwane, we miss. It happens to Pirates. Everybody complains. They miss. We miss also. So that is, is, is the gospel. We, we, we are used to it in South Africa.